Now in session, bringing the defendant. <laughs> Sylvester Winkle, you stand before this court accused of being the most greedy, selfish, and all-around creepy guy on earth. How do you plead? Like this. Please let me go. I hate you. <laughs> it's cold. I can't see my whole face in that tiny little mirror. I object. You can't object. He's your client. Oh. <clears throat> your Honor. I shall prove that Sly, the ferret Winkle, has a protracted chronology of perpetrating fraud on gullible females in order to secure romantic rendezvous. Huh? huh? He cons girls to get dates. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Miss Smith, would you please approach the bench? <laughs> Be sub cake. There's no way in the world this court is ever gonna take us seriously. Love your glasses. Very hot. <laughs> I'd like to call as my first witness. Lorena Costa. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, not much truth, so I'll be gone? Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Costa, has the defendant ever deceived you? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> time he pretended to share my love of fashion designing, so I, I'd go out with him. <laughs> Lovable. <laughs> I've been possessed by the spirit of the great French designers. Well, I'll just go back to my room now, leave you alone to create with Christian Dork. <laughs> <laughs> ah, alone at last. What are you doing? It's a tradition among the great designers to kiss their models for good luck. Uh, <laughs> Don't you have something to show me, Sly? Uh, uh, uh. Never unveil the masterpiece until the third kiss. French tradition. <laughs> Never kiss the designer unless you like his work. Mexican tradition. <laughs> you insist. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, as far as I'm concerned, she should be on trial for having tacky taste. Not to fire you to name one other time. All right, how about when he pretended to be a gentleman or faked being sick or acted like a serpent? I object, I said one other time. <laughs> well, I know exactly what my dream man would be like. Oh, ooh, detail. Okay. He's handsome and honest, loves French food, fine art, and foreign films. And the first time I see him, he'll be wearing an Italian suit and a silk tie. Oh, yeah. And he'll say something incredibly romantic. Oh. Romantic? I could do that. <laughs> it took me forever to find you. But now that I have, I'll never let you go. What's going on? This is a joke, right? I assure you, Jennifer, this is no joke. I shed my cocoon of adolescence and spread wide my wings of manhood. Oh, man. 
I'll let you get back to practice. I just wanted to give you the flowers. Besides, I have to drive my mother's church group to the Museum of Fine Arts. <laughs> Well, I don't need anything but your company. And maybe a little shoulder rub. Well, after all you've done for me, it's the least I can do. And as soon as you get better, I'm going to take you up on that date. But let's forget dinner and skip right to the moonlight stroll on the beach. How's that sound? Matt, forget the laundry. You can leave. But I haven't finished folding yet. Oh, oh, I feel another spasm coming on. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> with a board? I didn't know he liked surfing. No, he doesn't, but he's a major fan of surf chicks. Unfortunately, they'd rather drown him than date him, so he came up with a plan. Just like a surf dude attracts surf chicks. So, uh, which one of you lucky ladies want to make some waves with Uncle Sly? <laughs> Why, Val? I object, I object, I object. I find her whole line of questioning to be highly prejudicial to my client. Well, she is the prosecutor. <laughs> Judge's pet. Your Honor, the prosecution rests. Very well. We'll take a brief recess, and when we reconvene, the defense may present its case. <laughs> Though I really don't see the point. <laughs> is the defense ready to present its case? Watch this slide. I'm gonna dazzle them with my legal eagling. <laughs> if it pleases the court, I will now prove that my client is innocent. Now, he could have not have robbed that convenience store. On the day in question, uh, counsel, he was a... Can I tell you a little secret? Come here. <laughs> you know your client? Yeah. He's not on trial for robbing a convenience store. Oh. oh. Excuse me. <laughs> the defense now calls Mark Winkle to the stand. Promise not to lie? Okie dokie. <laughs> In your experience, is Sly Winkle the most selfish person on earth? Maybe not the most selfish, but definitely the biggest liar. <laughs> In researching our illustrious Winkle family tree, I discovered we come from a long line of liars. Who would have guessed? <laughs> First up, we have Giovanni Winkolini. He was best known for proving that Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel wearing a bikini. That's a lie. You know it, baby. Like I said, Winkles are liars. Next up, we have Pope Luigi Winkolini. There was never any Pope Winkolini. That's right. He just said that to impress a hot Sicilian babe. <laughs> Much like my cousin Mark here, who said we related to Casanova just to get close to Judy. I didn't say that. You said we were related to Casanova. Hey, I'm a Winkle. I'd like Mark Winkle to be treated as a hostile witness. Why? Liar! No! Liar! No! Liar! No! The defense calls Samantha Wu. I do. Miss Wu. <laughs> Can you testify as to Slawinkle's character? Well, Mama, can I? He's greedy, stingy, power hungry, egotistical. <laughs> Say yo baba, yo baba, yo baba, boom, boom, boom. Hey, I didn't know ferrets could rap. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now feast your eyes on the school radio station's new program director. What did you do to the old program director, Sly? Bribe him? Bribe? No. I didn't bribe anyone. 
I just gave him 50 bucks to go away. <laughs> What's your game, Wink? Well, I mean, the radio station's there to give students a voice. What do you have to say besides, <laughs> Just that. I'll sell some of the advertising time and keep some of the money on the side as a finder's fee. You imbecile, there's no advertising. The school station is funded by the school budget. No money? Forget that. There's a great opportunity. I mean, we could all have our own shows. Oh, it's cool. true. No hey, money? It's true. I'm psyched. I mean, I can finally make a difference. I can do a show about real issues, you know, no fluff, no gossip. No money? Sly, relax. As program director, you get to hire and fire people. Power? I like it. Mr. Shahabara, let's exchange those plane tickets to the Grand Canyon. Uh, no, 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 no. I am so apologizing. No exchange tickets until you meet famous rock stars, as you promised. All right. Well, get your cameras ready, because I'd like to introduce you and your family to the one, the only, Van Halen. Come on. It is an honor to meet me, Mr. Van Halen. It's a pleasure to meet you too, sir. I saw you last spring at the Gandhi Stadium in Calcutta. Even from the back row, you are most awesome, dude. I can't believe they're actually buying this. We're gonna get arrested and deported. <laughs> Mr. Slicer, would you please do us the extreme pleasure of snapping us in a picture with Mr. Vanilla? Sure, I'll snap you in a picture. Right this way. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait a second. I, I, I can't go through with this. What? This whole thing's a lie. <gasps> Holy moly! Van Halen wears a wig! <laughs> At this time, I would like to call my final witness. Me. <laughs> hey, I'm a lawyer. What, do you think I'm gonna lie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, I swear. Mr. Wicks, do you know the defendant? You mean that kind heart and never kicked a puppy grandma hugger? Just answer the question! Well, you didn't have to yell! Sly happens to be my best friend. Some show for you today, so let's just kick it off with a very cool new segment. Oh, yeah, it's cooler than Frosty the Snowman's butt. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's the most iced tea chilling antifreeze freezing segment that ever gave a couch potato frostbite. Chili! <laughs> Chili? What is that? Something you stick on your hot dog? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? What's well, zing? Short for zingle, because no girl will date you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't you stick to the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start off with the Google Moo Girl of the Week, and to prove who the hottest girl is, I got the Slimeometer! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, the new segment is the Google Moo Gladiators. Oh, check it out. The Wix Wamba. Oh! <laughs> Hey, you hit me in the head with that thing. I didn't mean you it. Know it was you know you purpose. Go to commercial. Go to commercial. All right, listen up, boys. This show is only good if your friendship is good. So you either choke down those egos or you bomb. Catch my drift? Yeah. And we're back in three, two... Ah! <laughs> 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 I no longer believe my client is innocent. I want to help Tiffany. Great. We'll take another brief recess so uh, Sly can prepare to defend his own life. Before I pass sentence, I'd like to say that I've always believed a person innocent until proven guilty. Hey, I thought you said I could defend myself. Oh, yeah. Go on. But I still think you're guilty of sin. Look, I know I may have dissed people one or two million times, but I have done some nice stuff. Mark, remember how I almost got pounded to prove how sorry I was for ruining your life? 
Mark. Please! Don't go. Look, I know after what I did, I have no right to talk to you. But it's important that you hear what I have to say. What? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it? You're sorry? Yeah, so you forgive me? You humiliate me in front of a thousand people. Ruin my future in classical music. Cause me to be terrified to even play chopsticks in front of anyone. And you expect forgiveness because you said you're sorry? Not enough, huh? <laughs> Mark, I feel terrible. I'm sorry. What more can I say? Which one of you creeps messed up my girlfriend's party? Don't go away, Mark. <laughs> so, uh, you must be Sheila's boyfriend. Look, I'm really sorry about her party, but, uh, could you find it in your heart to forgive me and my face? Maybe if you begged me like you begged him. Hey, I already begged once today. I'm not gonna beg. Okay, please. Please look at me. I'm sorry. Hmm. Sorry. I thought it might work. I just don't care enough about you. <laughs> Hold that thought. Listen, Mark. It doesn't really matter if you forgive me or not, because I won't be able to forgive myself. And I know it's my fault that the world won't hear your music. And I'm really sorry for that. Go ahead. Get it over with. Wait a second. <laughs> Did... Did you really mean that? That's pretty cool, cuz. Thanks. I guess I've been angry long enough. I forgive you. <laughs> well, there was that. And Sam, remember when I was dating Allison? Sure. You blew her off because she was blind and you were afraid she would dance into a wall. <laughs> Ooh, good memory. Well, didn't I end up doing the right thing? It's the jerk with the fake corns. What do you want? Look, I know I screwed up, but I'd really like to take you to the dance. I don't think so. I don't need a pity date. A pity date? Oh, no, I heard a poor little blind girl's feelings. Her life is already hard enough. I should take her dancing and bring her a little happiness. Well, I'm not into it. Good night. Wait, I don't pity you. I think you're amazing. And I know sometimes I could be a little shallow. Okay, I could be really shallow. <laughs> Especially when I reject the girl I'm really into because I'm worried about how it'll look. Allison, I really like you, sight or no sight, and I don't care what anyone else thinks. Um, would you mind saying that again while I touch your face? You're good. It's hard to hear if you're lying. I said, I really like you. And I don't care what anyone else thinks. So will you come with me to the romance dance? And Tiffany, didn't I refuse to help you get steroids because I was afraid they were hurting you? I object! On what grounds? On the grounds that Sly is starting to make me like him again. <laughs> No, I can't be out! You lied to me. Sly, what are you doing here? Come on, Tiff, I saw everything. You're still taking steroids. Well, I'm sorry, okay? I mean, you see how they're helping me? And now I'm this close to making the national team. The national team, Sly, do you know what that means? Yeah, a lot. But none of it's gonna matter if you keep using. You're hurting yourself. Oh, nothing's gonna happen to me. I'm still the same old Tiffany, just stronger. No, you're changing. Look at you. You're moody, you're irritable, you snap at your friends. Not to mention what those things can do to your body. You could die from that stuff. Yeah, well, I need you to get me some more. What? Didn't you hear what I said? You can die. Yeah, I heard you. Did you hear me? The final competition is this afternoon, and when I make it, I'm gonna need some more. This isn't a game, Sly. No, it isn't. That's why I'm not gonna help you. Fine. And I'll get them myself. <sighs> okay, I messed up a lot. But I never meant to hurt anyone. I just love girls. I love money. And I love controlling people, making them do what I... Ah! I'm a Lock me up! <laughs> Wait, Sly. In light of your testimony, it's clear that you're not a complete sleazeball. It's also clear that you think you're more important than everybody else. Just remember, it's okay to go after your dreams, but it's not okay to hurt people along the way. I know that now. 
Good. Then it is the opinion of this court that on the charge of being the most selfish person on earth, you are not guilty. Case dismissed. Yeah! 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 Yeah!